using the fireball is like really fun. Oh, this what? is what I'm talking about. Hold <laughs> on. <laughs> Wait, they yeah, went this is backwards. going really off script here. <laughs> He's got 14 rockets. Is he just going to shoot his way up this building? <laughs> you got to be kidding me. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ben Esposito, and I'm the director of Neon White, and with me is Russell and Carter from the team. Hey, I'm uh, Russell Honor. I did programming and uh, some level design. Hey, I'm Carter. Um, I did a lot of the levels and did some art and whatnot on the game. Cool. So we're just going to jump right into this and watch this speed run. This is a new world record. We haven't seen this before, so let's go. Okay, so this level is maybe the most speedrun level of the game, and I did not necessarily intend for it to be. <laughs> yeah, it's like mostly just running on the water, so I didn't expect people to go so hard on it, but uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, did you hear about the tech that you are supposed to jump off of the water and bump your head? Yeah, it's like, um, I think they do that in like Minecraft speedruns too, where like you like spam the jump. So like, I don't know, what about the physics is doing that? I actually don't know. Uh, so the way the water works is you actually get the water boost as long as you're close to the water. Not It's not based on whether or not you're on the water itself. So you don't have any like uh, ground resistance when you're floating just above it, but you are getting the boost, so you do go faster. Okay, and I guess the ceiling also gives you a boost. I don't okay, know that, if it's that, that or so cool. if it keeps <laughs> you closer. <laughs> I think it I just think keeps should... you close. I think we should intro the game a little bit <laughs> and just yeah, sure. First minute went pretty okay. So this game is, you know, it's called Neon White. It's a speed running like first person platformer, and the gimmick is that the guns are cards that you can discard for a unique ability. So in this, you can kind of see he's got a pistol and and is discarding it in order to get a second jump. So that's the basic idea. And it's not just get to the end as fast as you can. It's also kill all the enemies so that the end unlocks. So it's not as simple as just going straight towards the end. <laughs> right. It kind of killing the enemies makes it into kind of a puzzle where you have to make sure everything is clear before you touch the ending. And that was kind of like the early idea was like this would be a little bit of an action puzzle game, and over time. <laughs> We made it way less puzzly. <laughs> yeah. It's just like a roller coaster. Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't. Damn. Yeah. We found ways to make it puzzly anyways, though, so it all worked out. <laughs> That's true. I mean, you can see stuff like um, shooting your own bomb here. Where um, the gateway, the, one of the hidden texts in the game is that you can parry bullets with your katana or you can shoot another enemy bullet and you'll see this white ring appear around the bullet. Um, that gives you a very slight speed boost, uh, but something we didn't know <laughs> going into this was you could parry your own bullet if you launch it and stick to a surface and then start shooting at it. So you might see some stuff like that. That works for this purify card as well as the rocket launcher later on. Man, they've already finished the first mission. <laughs> yeah. The first mission, I don't know. Like, I feel like we had a conversation that we were like concerned that the first mission wouldn't be very fun because it was too simple. Yeah, there aren't a lot of mechanics yet, but then people just love to juice every little bit of speed that they can get out of that. I think we also really just like didn't expect people to go so hard with like the water plane because like I, I when i was designing levels i just kind of like it was there i, I kind of treated it like lower heaven where it's like a death box kind of thing but um people you know used it to its full potential which is really cool <laughs> yeah people spent more figured out how to spend more time on water in ways that i like never okay. imagined Any rush in the chat? this is a very ancient level but it got redesigned at the last second to actually be good. Man, it's just like, we can't even talk about a level because yeah. they're going by so yeah. fast. <laughs> this is also a pretty old one, I think. But it, yeah, yeah, some changes. 
Okay, nice. Pair. Yeah, this is a super old school one. We moved that last enemy around a million times, so it oh, didn't yeah. feel too hard to get the shot. Oh, this level, we added that Oh, you guys that added that glass section. platform last second, right? Yeah, yeah and uh, we didn't adjust the leaderboards before we released, so there were pictures on the Discord of me, uh, people accused me of being a cheater, <laughs> because <laughs> I just, because we hadn't reset the leaderboards yet, and so me and all the testers had like two seconds faster than everyone else. <laughs> yeah, we added these, like we added those glass platforms to the beginning of that level because we had realized like we never actually introduced the concept of glass platforms by that point. So we kind of slapped it on and yeah, I think it works as a tutorial. There's another one got edited like last minute, right, with the shortcut. Yeah. Glass platform shortcut. Yeah, Russell, you did this shortcut. I did do this one. Because this was actually a level so old that it was before the concept of a, having an intentional shortcut in every single level. So, like, at the last minute, we kind of went back and revisited those and made sure they had, like, really meaningful shortcuts. Yeah. And, and this one, shortcut this was totally was... unintentional. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you did this one. You're supposed to bomb off that uh, um, guardian head and then bomb into the window that was open and then dash across, but uh, it was a lot faster to apparently go down and skip like that entire kind of sequence. But it looks <laughs> cool, so who cares? It looks cool. I mean, the, the windows make it feel really intentional, those round windows. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad this helps. Oh, this is... I feel like a lot of people learn about the shooting bullet mechanic here just because you get the... Um, the, the triple shot guys and you just kind of spam there while you're going down the stairs so you get like a massive visual like speed boost which is pretty cool oh yeah you get to see the white cool. rings yeah yeah i mean even for like those those are the only en enemies that move they jump and uh you know i wasn't sure if we should keep that in the game <laughs> but i, I guess think... people hate it which is awesome yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it just adds texture because, like, they're not random at all. They'll always jump at the same exact time. I do love that there's one level towards the end of the game where you can take advantage of that for a skip. Is there? I don't, which, which Yeah, one? um, the Book of Life level. Which oh ones? my god, I don't know if they're going to use that skip, but when we get to that level, we should talk about it. Oh yeah. We'll see if see if we still have some sort of arcane knowledge that the speedrunners don't have yet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this level, I never thought of sniping those barrels at the very beginning. Oh, God, yeah. That's it's like, quite, it's such a cool shortcut. No, this level is... Oh, my God. Yeah, that's... <laughs> like, <literally, laughs> that one's oh insane. God. The reason why the... Uh... The goal is so low is just because I wanted a cool moment where you get knocked up and then see the whole level and then like slam down. And I did not mean it for me to like be such a cool shortcut, but it worked out. So it's a pure sniping level. Yeah, that that one was hard, but a hint in because there was just so many good shortcuts in it. Oh, yeah, it was like chock full of optimizations. Yeah. And usually, we, you know, we try to show you like a little bit of like the actual shortcut. That's true. I mean, competition is a bridge. Mm -hmm. But that one was just so ripe. <laughs> As opposed to the one we just saw, which yeah. is like kind of a weird <laughs> one to optimize. But yeah, I mean, we're gonna see this. This is a cool what the heck you can do that okay. Did you guys intend that? Because I didn't make this level. That's that's a cool shortcut. No, we I did not. Everything. No, of course. Yeah, sorry, my bad, my bad. Russell added that shortcut at the end where you can snipe that kind of like horseshoe shape and then yeah. go straight down. I think that worked out really good. This one was another ancient one that we added a shortcut to at the very end as well. I mean, there. This looks like a pretty like straightforward use of, of the shortcut where you just don't even scale yeah. the building at all. This is I think like I removed the enemies. I don't level. remember if I meant to put them back in that last part. Oh, I've seen this. This is nuts. Okay. This is silly. Well, no, this was the uh, the other shortcut that was intended. Wait, this is intended. That's why, oh my God. That's why there's windows there, right? That's we why your camera clips just, through the window. Yeah, that's, we wouldn't <laughs> just haphazardly put windows places. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Yeah, no, I like always thought like, ah, oh, there's got to be some way to not do the intro, but wow, you, they figured out a place to do it. Uh, 
I really do enjoy the boss level speed runs. I can never get bullish cool. shots in on that second phase when he's moving. <laughs> like I had to implement the achievement to get uh, an early kill in this level, and, <laughs> and it was a struggle for me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this it was kind of get the early kill. Yeah. God, that's yeah, amazing. This one's really cool. You have to like double bomb the boss and then shoot the bomb itself to get a speed boost and then you fly up. Oh wow, and then you beat him to the ground. <laughs> Pretty good pace. Wow, that's bananas. <gasps> oh, the sonic rings. <laughs> he's not he's not using the rings. Oh yeah, no, you're supposed to use now the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the rings were a very late addition as well to like help teach uh, what angle you should point this card at because it kind of just launches you but you still have gravity on so oh yeah and this level is all about bullet parrying where these things shoot a ton of bullets and then you if you do it just right you can get like a huge kick forward when hitting them I remember players being pretty annoyed with that level because they wanted to like fireball everywhere after the first level and they yeah. got stuck with just shooting but it was like an older level that we need to we didn't want to like throw away so oh well you gotta deal with it it's some legacy legacy design it's fine is it more efficient to drop there i didn't realize interesting people have kind of found that like it's always faster to fireball on the ground itself oh, um, interesting. and the reason why is because when you are fire when you're in fireball mode and you're touching the ground it behaves exactly as if you're on water so you kind of like forcibly trigger like a waterway when you do that and it uh probably that's like the fastest thing in the game is being on water so i think they try to spend as much time on the ground as possible like that oh there's another shortcut that got like changed last minute right yeah, it did. Because we needed like a, that one's full of optimizations, but it needed like a really beefy thing to skip. And I think that one worked. Yeah. Oh, the double, yeah. double snipe. That was nice. I mean, I always save the fireball here so I can like shoot down onto the water faster. That's probably less efficient though. I have no idea. <laughs> this guy's a way, way better than me. <laughs> this is a fun one just because like the optimization is nuts. Like the speed at which you can get through that level is crazy. Yeah, I'm like, I like that these didn't get very long in the middle. Like, these levels are still really short, so you get these very, uh, like, <laughs> Okay, what the hell? That was a move. So, if you haven't played this level, there's, like, explosive barrels in the wall there that you're supposed to go inside that room, but apparently you could just be on the outside. Oh, my God. Have you guys seen the shortcut? It's, oh, my God, it's disgusting. Oh, you snipe oh. everything from the outside first? Yeah, he's already uh, got yeah why do watch balloons. this? Oh, but you're not supposed to go up that <laughs> No. I can't believe someone actually pulled it off. I like, I mean, it was always technically possible, but like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I remember we talked about like, yeah, maybe someone could do it. We'll, we'll find out. Oh yeah, you, Carter, you reworked this one at the last minute. I love this level now. It, uh, it needed a little, little love. Um, I, yeah, I like it. Um, I think I do the shortcut a lot where you like bomb stuff from far away and then, you know, stomp or do something else. But like, it's always fun to just add. It, it just feels satisfying. Yeah, it feels good. Oh, this might be one of my favorite shortcuts. Oh, like, it's, it's so satisfying. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, there's like a whole room that you can skip by just flying over the side. I think it showcases the trip rush pretty. Oh, this is a cool. Like, I just added those water things for like flavor and like they actually used it. It's super cool. Yeah, I, yeah, that was I never even thought to use those waterways because they're just decorative. <laughs> this is like pretty straightforward. Yeah. Oh, you guys added like um parts that weren't waterway to the little like waterway yeah. section to make the shortcut stronger, right? Because the water's so good, we had to get rid of water. <laughs> yeah, we had to nerf it so that our shortcut was actually more of a shortcut. I think this is one of like the first, like hang gardens levels i arted it's such a fun area to art just because like you just toss plants everywhere <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think this one came out really cool and the shortcut's always fun like people like can't think of it and then as soon as it hits them they have that big aha moment which is always like very fun to watch yeah 
Okay, this is what I wanted people to do here. Use your katana as you fall to swipe every single thing. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Which one of you guys did this level? Because I know it got that last edition pretty late. I think I was the one to... I That level sucked, right? And then at the last minute, I like ripped everything out of the center of it and then made it more of like a, a little roller coaster falling down, slashing everything. Yeah, the, the more intentionality of the like enemies is way cooler now. It was meaner before. I think it was it was trying to screw you up way too much. Oh my god, for this section, um, I meant to put a shortcut here and forgot. So like now it's just kind of like jumping on balloons for way too long. Like it's, I feel kind of bad. They, like they, it looks mean, like they shot one. He of optimized them. a little bit, yeah. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Oh, this this level. Yeah, no, this is a hundred percent intentional what he's gonna do. I definitely meant it for this one. Oh, yeah, oh, he's not doing the crazy one. Okay, never mind. Well, th this is actually intentional, but that last shot is, like, probably too hard to pull off. But, you know, it's okay. I've seen someone do this level where every single one of those shockers, they killed from the other side of the door. <laughs> oh, like from the outside of the room? Yeah. Like, I wonder was, if that's, like, I mean, a riskier strat. I think it's probably super risky. I mean, that You're shortcut tight, right? normally is hard enough to do. You have to, like, perfectly yeah. aim that purify. <laughs> yeah, I can't say that one is easy for me to pull off. Definitely could have grouped the enemies a little nicer, but you know, yeah, people deal with yeah, it anyway. Okay, it's fine. Uh, this one. Oh, this is cool. Just don't even go up there. Yeah, I didn't even think of that saving an extra Uzi like that. Okay. This is another pretty old level. I I remember like it was like the main level was like pretty fun, and then I just like edited on top of it and like just turned the entire like level around to go through the um the arches at the beginning just to create a cooler looking starting point but um i, yeah, I, used I this love what he like, just did where he was like oh, shooting yeah, yeah. the the shocker bullets as they were moving away from him just for that speed boost yeah like they got like three three yeah. shots on them man the micro optimizations are real this is one of the cooler levels of the game, easily. I think Ames made this one, and it's really yeah, good. Yeah, this was Ames. And it was I can't imagine what it was like to set every single one of these up. It's not like we have a special tool for making chains of these things. <laughs> but yeah, this is I love this shortcut where you have to kind of like, you're racing the tripwires, but you have to cut them short just at the right time so that you can still make it to the end. Wait, do you get a speed boost from shooting the force field? No, no, it was the three bullets coming out. Oh, okay. All right. So fast, I couldn't even tell. <laughs> uh, this is like the first um, like bubble level when we redesigned the force fields. And I think it was like a, the proof of concept. And it, I think it worked, ended up working pretty well. I love that shortcut where you like stomp through the balloon rather than... Sorry, sorry. Through the bubble rather than uh, going up through it. Yeah. I, I'm a pretty big fan of this shortcut at the end, too. Just the boom, boom, dash. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. Oh, there's another one that, like, Whoa. was ancient. I think it was just the beginning part is the only part that was saved at this point. But, like... Yeah, I can't I believe this level even exists. It's, like, <laughs> so old and it's been redone a million times. But it looks good. This was a last-minute one. Oh, yeah. This is, like, one of the later levels. But yeah, definitely. Having fun with the um the new bubbles and whatnot. <laughs> I'm curious what they do at this part because it's full of water that you can kind of be just on top of. They take the little, there it is. <laughs> we added that just for them. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't generous with that one, though. <laughs> but you don't even need to okay. go through it. Now, this is like a, a Justin level that um, it originally ended right here. Like, that, that would be the end right there. And then, like... I think a while ago I like added um, the second half just so you could have the fun of like puzzling out and like, well, not puzzling, but just destroying the uh, the horrific trap that was set for you. <laughs> yeah, I love that part. What do people think of these enemies, the mimics? I hope they hate yeah. them. <laughs> <laughs> I hate them too, but I also love them where they just end up. I mean, they're just so like... If you die from a mimic, it's a hundred percent your fault. It's also nice that you don't have to aim as much with them. You can like, like I usually put them in a place with like a bunch of enemies, and you just like shoot a shotgun and it, like kills everything instead of like oh having to actually like 
Nice. Holy crap. We were talking about we good. didn't think anyone could shortcut that part. Sick. Yeah, I guess just keep I mean, flying. You gotta put them all at the same I height remember. so they can uh, get hit by the mimic shots, the guardians that is in that level. I mean I remember the original mimic design, right? Oh, it was oh, terrible. <laughs> Don't even tell anyone about your... that. Okay. All right. I won't say what it used to do. No, you can, you can say if you... You can no, tell. I don't. It. No, I can't. <laughs> it's just too horrific. <laughs> I'll, I mean, I'll just, I'll just say it. All right. original, originally, Mimics actually stole your cards. So when you killed it, you'd lose whatever card was in your hand. And you oh had to God. kind of like puzzle out when to shoot them so that you wouldn't lose, you know, the next important card. I thought it was really clever, but no one else liked it. <laughs> and this person's so much better when they shoot the bullets out and kill you. Okay, okay well, we're the TF2 rocket jumping. Let's go. We're already in mission eight. There's only 12. Oh, you can, that's smart pairing. That <laughs> nice. I didn't even thought of that. Ooh, that's cool. Ah. Oh, he goes through. Interesting. Okay. I actually go oh. around on that building. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's funny, like, whenever you, like... I, you're designing a level and then you're like, okay, I need to add a shortcut, so I'm just gonna like add this entire fun section and then like with the intention that people are just gonna skip it. <laughs> yeah, it's a little yeah. bit of a bummer when you make something actually cool. Yeah, like this one, like I really like that whole like Spider-Man section. <laughs> oh yeah, you go around the building the, the yeah. other way. It is true. Usually whatever you add for them to skip is more fun. <laughs> because you have a better understanding of the level at that point. If you design yeah. the shortcut too late. Yeah, usually, like sad. Usually you can get around to like having um like designing like a shortcut like first, so it ends up being like as fun or more fun than the main level. And then like, you know, designing the rest of the level after. But like, yeah, a lot of the times the, the weird stuff we force you to do that's slower is a lot more fun. But I think yeah. we did a pretty good job of like hitting that middle ground. Yeah, I think what's like the ratio of levels that we designed the shortcut first versus we added the shortcut after? Oh god, I have no clue. I have to like look through every level. But probably like fifty percent. Like it might have been fifty percent, yeah. Well there's a lot of levels we ended up throwing out because we we had an amazing shortcut, but it actually was like not fun and it was pretty confusing to do it normally. Yeah, I tried to do two way too many levels <laughs> that were like completely intertwining and stuff and just ended up being way too confusing and like not being confusing is the name of the game in this uh level design turns out it's important i like this this shortcut where you had to collect all the three fireballs and just skip right to the top of the building yeah that was a, that was a fun one oh have you guys seen the shortcut for this one okay he's not gonna do it but like someone did a shortcut where like um you just bam like all the balloons while you're like moving there or, like a little earlier and just end up going to the end like twice as fast it's ridiculous uh, uh i like rockets i knew people could snipe stuff but when we were building these i didn't i wasn't thinking about like oh yeah you'll just be able to snipe everything from from the beginning Straight away. yeah i tried so hard to like make sure um all the shortcuts wouldn't end up just being like shoot everything from a distance and then ram your face into a wall and like just spam <laughs> the rockets and then get to the end. I think the very last level of this mission ended up being like that unintentionally, but um, it's it's still cool when it happens, but it's definitely less interesting than actually like playing some stuff. <laughs> yeah, this, I mean, I think you did a good job. This one's fun just because it's like so different than the, um, the other rocket levels. Um, yeah, they're they not doing the thing where they jump to the side though. Maybe that's slower. We were like, oh, it's so cool to jump side to side on these waterways, but I mean, the fastest thing is a straight line, right? True. Well, actually, the uh, fastest thing is a quantum tunneling. It's <laughs> <laughs> cold space. Some people have space been doing folding. that <laughs> when they cheat the leaderboard, so I think yeah. you're right. <laughs>
What are they going to do here? This is a pretty vanilla, right? Yeah. Kind of how it was intended. Yeah. Oh, this level. Oh, oh yeah. the triple. That's awesome. Whoa. When I saw like people doing this in the demo, I was like, oh my god, this the speedruns are going to be nuts for this game. And definitely way more than like we expected. Wow, the bopping your head on the ceiling there. Why did they do that? I guess to not get too much height. Oh my Seeing god. Speed boost. <laughs> yeah, like, that's a new tech. Whoa. Okay. Oh, yeah, this like... level. This was a last minute shortcut. I think it worked. Oh, yeah, it's it super cool. Using the fireball is like really fun. Oh, this what? is what I'm talking about. Hold <laughs> on. <laughs> Wait, they this went is backwards? going really off script here. <laughs> He's got 14 rockets. Is he just going to shoot his way up this building? <laughs> you got to be kidding me. <laughs> wow, straight to the ending. Oh, Who knew? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. That one's good. <laughs> I like that. I haven't actually seen that. Oh. This level is really ripe with shortcuts as well. Yeah, this had so many that you weren't even sure where to put the short the hint, right? Yeah. I was oh, yeah, worried that um, sniping were a little too rude, but I guess people Ooh. like it. So that's it good. works. We, I remember when we were designing this, we never thought you could save this pistol here and just skip to the end. But apparently it's possible, which is dope. The power of speedrunners. <laughs> yeah, if there's a card, they'll figure it out. Oh, it's smart. You save the um, killing the guardian until later, I guess. Wow. Ooh, interesting. Oh. I guess, yeah, I just cleaned it up later. <laughs> Best thing, what? adding like a Dominion card. Like, <gasps> what? Find, oh that, that one's good. That's a good one. <laughs> I thought, oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. These are like so logical, but I didn't really think of, of just standing there and shooting everything and then going straight down. I'm so glad you guys added those um, fence things to this level because like the pathing was very confusing without them. <laughs> I think it ended up working. Masks the little shortcut you could snipe through to the end. I loved this part where you're like in the bridge. I had to make at least one level worth it. The, the gate is at the start. Oh my god. You tried like four or five times to make a level where the gate is at the start. And they did not work. <laughs> it's a really cool idea on paper, though. Oh, the shortcut's fun. Oh my god, that's awesome. Wow, I love that. Okay. I remember when I was making this, um, you were like, oh, you gotta make it so you can, like, jump on the side and into that force field but not actually like touch the ground it'll be super cool and uh it looked nice <laughs> i think it worked oh this oh. <laughs> oh yeah we put this, this in after the demo because people were doing stuff oh. like this and we were like yeah why not just like make it so you could literally like clear the whole map without even entering it but uh i'm gonna be honest i never actually was able to do that skip <laughs> <laughs> oh this is a skip that um i knew was like possible when i was making the level but uh um, never pulled it off efficiently it's like i feel like it saves like a second he's just gonna um yeah go straight up instead of like oh. doing a slightly longer one but yeah i didn't know i didn't even think i could just jump straight over my head there i would always go to the ending and then jump backwards yeah That was cheeky. Oh, using the stomp to get down faster is smart. I'm so curious to see what players like reaction to this level are is because like um it's just it's such an over the top level with how much crap you have to do. This level I would say yeah is uh excessive in a fun way, but it's like so <laughs> big, it's so full of stuff. Definitely should have added a couple more shortcuts in, but you know. Got to deal with it. 
I mean, it's fun to have like this, like a lot of shooting in a level. Yeah. I love the little uh, <laughs> balloon conglomerate. I, I think um, that idea came good. from like Ben's like test level. There's like a bunch of balloons, and I was like shooting with a shock. I was like, oh my god, that'll totally be fun. Oh yeah, I had a sandbox where I just spawned a bunch of balloons, <laughs> and I guess that I mean it, it turned out really cool. It's fun to see it in a level. It almost feels like a kind of a different, a new enemy in a way. A yeah. mega balloon. <laughs> oh, this one's cool. Uh, yeah, I think I like to see people do this where they fly off the side of the building. Yeah, I think that was one of my favorite shortcuts I made. Just skip the whole thing. Shoot things. Yeah, I mean, that's like, that was like a classic example of like, where do we start the shortcut hint? So it really only shows you to skip like one floor. And then it's up to like the player to realize, oh, I can actually skip all the floors. <laughs> yeah, I think that's I think that was pretty successful. That didn't give anything too too much away. I was checking the times for this level, and like people are like a solid like two three seconds faster than me, and I have no clue where they save time. <laughs> was that run different than what you do? Um, yeah, uh, not really. Oh, they they managed to stomp earlier. I don't know how they did that, but mm. that's about it. I think this was a Justin level. It was supposed to be like one of the last ones. That's why it has so much stuff in it. Yeah. <laughs> and then, of course, we continued adding stuff to the game. This is a cool ending. Oh, nice. They cleared away the glass earlier from that ending. Oh, I totally missed that, Dan. That's smart. Oh, this yeah, one is not like really a, a speedrun level. Nah. Although, what you can do to skip <laughs> it is hilarious. Oh yeah, I mean, it goes from like a like a five minute level to like a thirty second level, <laughs> but it's like not that hard to do. It's just like a little creative. Yeah, I mean, we're really victims of the low gravity when when building this. Low gravity just lets you kind of fly over to, <laughs> towards the ending. Oh, this is even more towards the end. Wow. <laughs> oh, and he has a rocket launcher. <laughs> I remember we were checking at the beginning. We're like, there's no way to save this rocket launcher. But we are, of course, mm. wrong. Hi, Grandpa. They find a way. All right, I'm ready for this boss fight. God, this level took so long to make. <laughs> it probably, I probably should have shortened it by like half, but you know, it was nice of you to let me uh, make it long. Yeah, you were like the, excited, so I wanted to yeah. see what you could do. This is the only level that's secretly two levels. <laughs> oh, great, because the inside the temple and outside are like, we're, we like hide a levels. really quick load. Yeah. Yeah, it's imperceptible. That's good. It even turned out pretty good on Switch too. You can you can't really notice when it transitions yeah. between worlds. The coolest part about the shortcut for this level, like boss fight, I guess, is that um they're like getting in um like fireball shotgun shots and dominion shots like between every single move, and he moves so fast. So I, it's pretty cool they're able to do that. Yeah, oh, like that such a small or, window. Yeah. You have to shoot the rocket, then break a crystal, and then right, you know, he turns the shield off and gets hit. It looks like, he, oh, wow, can you clear it right here? Uh, That's nuts. Oh, my, <laughs> oh my God. God. That's dope. I, I saw a run that ended, like, one stage after that, and I thought that was unbelievable. <laughs> oh, my God. Now these levels, the book of life <laughs> levels. So here yeah, the game kind of changes, and yeah, you don't, if you don't know, kill every enemy. Like, Exactly, yeah. You just have to point this card at an enemy and you can teleport to it. And you... Yeah, and to finish the level, you don't have to actually kill everything. I just assumed that... Yeah, like, something like this. Like, if you are, are a machine, you can zoom through these levels so fast because the Book of Life, you just point it and, and then you're there. 
Oh, what? He did. Oh that my god! Also, <laughs> that isn't. That's so funny. Because yeah, if you miss that, you're dead. Oh my you god! Just stomped. What? Holy sh There's a force field there. He he found the pixel. Holy crap! Are these like I mean, the shortest stuck. levels? <laughs> oh yeah. Ah, oh, this one has a uh, force field, so yeah. it's a little harder to snipe. Well, until oh until my god, there. <laughs> no! <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, how did you not oh. get hit? If there's you're a... far enough away, there's yeah, a bug. Okay. There's a bug where sometimes you can get through a tripwire that should have killed you. What? Wait. Yep. Wait, there's no the, collision next to that door? The molding around that does not have collision. So you just walk through it? Wow, that completely ruins the levels. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah, it makes it better. It's faster. Yeah, I mean, you have to kind of see through the matrix in order to do this speed run. Look at this. We, we starve you. No book of life at the beginning. It's about the journey of, of getting the book again. I always assume that... Oh, okay, Wait, what? well, you do what? that instead. How do you do it through the window? There must be no collision there or something, right? Yeah. Wow, that was like 10% of the level. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I just assumed that there was always going to be a way that the the hole you got there from, you'd be able to, like, turn around and zoom back into that room. Ah, but it turns out and you just was... go straight through the window. Yeah. Man, oh, that's such a horrible. massive cool level. <laughs> just getting yeah. uh, absolutely obliterated <laughs> yeah and like Russell That's you set up these tripwires to be like it'll definitely kill you if you try to skip this way yeah and then people figured out a way to like in direct influence their direction and here's the final boss yeah the little screeching enemy guys were kind of a late addition of like the way they work I think right but they're super cool yeah, they kind of like chase you around. They're like kind of an enemy that explodes when they touch you, but also they they um, are meant to be like fodder for teleporting onto. Oh my god. <laughs> Just click really fast. Mm. Yeah, this boss fight turned out really well. You did like 99.9% .9 of it, Ben. It's like super cool level. Yeah, I like made it like a really long time ago, and then I, like late in the game, I I refreshed it, so it's still not that different than it was. Uh, one more. Wow, just, just, just do it. Why not? Just break all the crystals. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what that's what we asked them to do. <laughs> just yeah, you, know, you could just take a break in between the crystals. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can just walk to this one instead of going the normal path. Yeah, that was intentional. Yeah, that was in, that well, one of the few intentional shortcuts in this. Level. I remember how many phases we wanted to add to the end of this. Wow. Yeah, we wanted it to be longer, but you know, it's a pretty long fight anyway. Here we go. I'll take it. That was the <laughs> That's world it. record, huh? That was. It. <laughs> That's pretty good. What did you guys think the world record time would be? Um. Mm. 10 minutes. Give Going into the get it done a 10. I thought it was going to be closer to an hour. But uh, anyway, yeah, that was that was that was pretty amazing. And it looks like there's even more time to save in the future. Yeah, there's a lot of really risky strats you can try. Like the individual level times are probably all much lower. So eventually someone will probably just go completely psychotic. <laughs> Real That's gamers. really exciting. Yeah. But yeah. So cool. Well Great. thanks for thanks for joining and watching the speedrun and hope hope people found some uh, of our commentary interesting. So yeah, that's all. Mm -hmm.